Welcome to an introduction of Cabinware version 2011 R1. I would like to share with you some of the new features of Cabinware version 2011 R1. In the new feature Multi Cross Section, a new feature of saving is the dynamic method. This allows a cabinet that has been modified in Multi Cross Section and then the cabinet is modified in the floor plan or elevation. The editing done in multi cross section is not lost. Plus, several other new features have been added. Let's take a look at this new feature. I'm going to go ahead and open up a job. And I'm going to look at the elevation of this cabinet. I'm going to click on this cabinet and choose right click and choose multi cross section. And I'm going to click on this shelf here. I'm going to right click and choose shape. Choose modify. Click on the back edge here. Right click and add a breakpoint. Add a breakpoint here. And add a breakpoint here. Click on this point. Right click and choose delete. It's going to grab this edge right here. And I'm just going to pull it down a little. Maybe something like that. Now if I click on these breakpoints here, I can right click and you'll see here I have position. Here I can actually attach that or associate that point with an actual reference point. This right here, reference, you'll see I have a variety of different types of reference points to choose from. That could be any one of the four corners, the middle of each edge and even the center of the part in itself. So for this demonstration I'm going to go ahead and choose position and I'm going to choose top right. So really what I'm doing is I'm kind of locking that point in association with this. So that 8 and 5 eighths will always stay 8 and 5 eighths when I do some other modifying to this cabinet. I'm going to click on this point and I'm going to choose position on this one as well. Make sure that's top right. And I want these two here to be top left. Make that top left. Click on this one. Right click and choose position. Top left. Now that I've done this, I'm going to select OK. I also have the ability to right click and choose shape and choose copy and I'm going to click on this part right here right click and choose shape choose paste and we'll see that this part right here I'll use a slice point pull that slice point right up inside there you'll see this part also has the same shape I'm going to go back out of here go back to the elevation view and here's a new feature here a dynamic multi cross section this allows us to be able to save this uh, modification and yet the cabinet will still be able to be modified while in floor plan or elevation. I'm going to choose OK. Now I'm going to click on this cabinet and I'm just going to stretch it. Notice I didn't get any uh, dialog come up as saying about the edited multi cross section. Stretch this side over here as well. Now I'm going to click on the cabinet again. I'm going to right click and choose multi cross section. Move my slice point and you'll see my operation or my cutout stretched dynamically. That's a pretty handy little feature there. I'm going to click on the shell, right click and choose shape, choose modify and here I'm just going to go ahead and add a cutout like so. And a new feature here, move shape function. You'll see I'm able to highlight the whole cutout. If I move my cursor to the edge of it, I can actually pull this whole cutout across the other side. Once it's moved over to this other side, I can actually click on these two new features, one of these new features here. This one here is going to be mirror. And what is actually happening is I've mirrored or flipped that whole part over to the other side. 
another little item here. I can put a little hole here, maybe right about there. If I click on this feature, it actually mirrors the whole part, like so. This one here mirrors it vertically. I can choose OK. See this part here is oriented like so. This one's oriented like so. Next, I can also click on a door and right click and choose Edit Pull Location. You'll see here the handle location on the door. And click on that handle location and it should, you see the values here on, on the bottom of the screen here. I can click and I can move this handle wherever I would want it to go. I'm just going to choose Cancel. Go back to Elevation. And I'm not going to save it this time. And I'm going to close the room. And say yes to save changes. Thank you for watching. For more information on how Cabinet Work can help you become more efficient and profitable, visit www.cabinetware.com.